Hey, how you doing? I hope your day is going great. If you are new here, my name is Alexis and welcome to my channel. I do content based around beauty, fitness, and veganism. If those are things that interest you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you couldn't tell by the title, today's video is going to be on how I got this silky silk press Savon Fresh. I got amazing results and I want to share it with you guys so you can get the same look at home. Let's get right into it. So first I'm going to put this attachment onto my blow dryer. It saves me a lot of time instead of hassling with a brush and a blow dryer. I am wearing a shower cap and that is to make sure that my hair doesn't dry in my natural state. My hair is divided into four different sections and it's all braided up to make sure that it doesn't tangle. I will be using the Meal Organic Thermal Protection Spray. I love this product because it's super lightweight and I always can trust that it will keep all of my curls intact and protected from heat. I'm also brushing through the product so that it's evenly distributed. When you're doing a silk press, you wanna make sure to take small sections with each part. This gives you a good shot at making sure everything is straight and prepared for when you're flat ironing. I'm also putting the shower cap back onto the rest of my hair, again to make sure that it doesn't dry in my natural state. I treat my blow drying kind of like detangling, so I start at the bottom and I work my way up. I used medium heat to dry my hair, but then at the end I also went through the section and used a higher heat setting. This really makes sure that everything is straight and well prepared for the next step. All right, half of my head done, another half to go. Again, I'm just repeating those same steps that I did on the previous section. Okay, this is what my hair looks like completely blow dried straight. And now it's ready to silk press. You're definitely going to need a fine tooth comb for the chase method while straightening. I am going to be taking fairly small sections and honestly with silk presses, the smaller the better. But I have a ton of hair and it would have taken me forever if I would have taken really tiny small sections. The heat setting that I used for my flat iron was 410, which is a bit higher than I normally do, but I know that if I do a higher heat setting, it will last a lot longer and give me smoother results. Plus, I really trust the thermal protectant that I use. I'm showing you these first two sections in real time just so you can make sure that you're grasping all the details. And when I'm going over my roots, I hit it about three times before I actually 
go down the length of my hair. That's because my hair tends to be kinkier at the roots and the roots are what go south first. I just have to stop and say like I am amazed I'm shocked the way that my hair is feeling right now and how straight it is with one pass I'm in awe <laughs> I'm in total awe anyways <laughs> And here I'm parting my hair to make sure that I am flat ironing in the direction that it will be laying. And here I'm just brushing my hair out just to make sure that everything is laying very nicely and there are no tangles. Okay, now it's time to address these flyaways. And to deal with the flyaways, I'm going to be using Black Panther Edge Control. It is my new favorite edge control. It's literally so amazing. It lays everything down for 24 hours and it doesn't leave a shiny or greasy residue, which is really nice.
All right, all done. Okay, so these are my results. I am crazy about my hair right now. This is insane. I don't think my hair has ever been this silky and straight and like, you see the way it just falls? It is so flowy. This was my first time doing a silk press on my hair and you know, it's been a while since I've straightened my hair. So I didn't know exactly where my hair was hitting as far as length goes, but looks like I am officially waist length. Super excited about that. Here is a profile view so you can see what it's looking like from the side. Can't even get all my hair in there, there we go. I'm so excited. I already posted a picture on Instagram and people are going crazy about it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any suggestions on videos for the future, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because, you know, it helps you girl out a lot. All right, I will see you in the next one. Hair flip.